Hi, first grade, and welcome to math class. Today, our learning target is, I can add numbers with regrouping. Let's go back to um, a couple weeks ago when we first started talking about the idea of regrouping. The word regroup means that you're gonna make a group again. You're gonna group again. So when we regroup, we trade 10 ones for one 10 to regroup. What that means is when you're building a number and you end up with more than 10 in the ones column, you have to make a group of 10 and you have to send that group of 10 over to the tens column. And that's just simply called regroup. Today, you're going to need a blank piece of paper to make a tens and ones board. You're going to need uh, your place value cubes if you still have them. Um, if you don't, just get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil and you'll be able to follow along with the lesson. Okay. Um, the place value board that we're going to make today is going to have two tens and ones um, spaces. One is going to be where we build it, and the other is going to be where we have our numbers. So what you're going to do is you're going to make two place value spaces with your tens and ones. Over here, we're going to build it this number plus this number. And I'm gonna use a different color on this side because over here, we're gonna use our numbers, tens and ones. We need our plus sign over here. And then where we write the answer, this number is the equal sign. Okay, so get yourself your place value board set up and we will begin. Um, I've put my place value board inside a sheet protector and uh, you can do that if you want to use a dry erase marker. Then you can have, um, we can just use the same place value board over and over again. Okay, so let's have a look at our first problem. We're going to do an addition problem that will require regrouping. Here's our story problem. Gina picks 28 flowers. Hannah picks 36 flowers. How many flowers did they pick in all? All right, so we're going to use the strategy of build it. So on this side of our place value board, we're going to build it. Gina picks 28, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Hannah picks 36, 10, 20, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have 28 and 36. We're also going to write our numbers in our other place value board that we drew. Gina picks 28, two sets of 10 and eight. And look, that's what we built right here. Two sets of 10 and eight. And Hannah picks 36 flowers. So we're gonna write that number here, 36. And that's what we did, we built it. Three sets of 10 and six. Okay, so. The first step is that we add our ones together and we need to decide if we need to regroup. Can I trade 10 ones for one 10? That's regrouping. So let's add our ones together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 ones. So essentially, in my ones column here, I have 14 ones. But we know that we can't write a two-digit number in this ones column. 
So because I have 14, I know that I can trade 10 ones for one 10. So let's do that. Let's group 10 together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's my set of ten. And I am going to exchange those for this one set of ten. But I can't leave this one set of ten here in the ones column because I still have 14 in the ones column, one set of ten and four. What we're gonna do is we're gonna carry in a little basket, with a little imaginary basket, we're gonna carry this set of ones over to the tens column. So now this one is gone. This set of 10 is gone because I put it over here. So on this column, this one right here was represented by these tens and I carried it over but like, how am I supposed to carry this number one, this one set of 10? I gotta carry it over here to the tens column. Well, what we do is we write another, we write a set of 10 up here. That's that one set of 10. So now I have four. This is what this four represents because the one set of 10 is over here. So now we add our tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six sets of 10 over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six sets of 10 over here. So the answer to our problem is they picked 64 flowers in all. All right, let's try that again and go through those steps again and make sure we understand what we're representing when we move that set of 10, when we regroup. The most important thing is you have to understand what that one means. All right, let's try this one. Matt sees 29 ducks, 14 more fly in. How many ducks does Matt see now? So we're gonna use the build it strategy. Matt sees 29 ducks. So I know 29 is two sets of 10 and nine. So build it. If you don't have um, your base 10 blocks, just represent it. Two sets of 10 and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fourteen more fly in. One set of ten and four. One set of ten and four. Okay. Can we regroup? We want to know if we can trade 10 ones for one 10 and make a group. Well, first let's add our ones together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 ones, but I can't write it like that. So I just wanna make sure you know, we're just temporarily putting that 13 here until we figure out our sets of 10. So I need to make, I need to regroup. So I need to make a set of 10. I know that was nine and that makes 10. So this set of 10, I'm going to carry and put them over here. So essentially I moved these 10 cubes over. This one represents that one set of 10. I moved it over. I carried it to the other side. 
when we just use numbers, we know that this set of 10 can't be in this ones column, but we carry that set of 10 and we put it over here. So let's see if we, what we made of all of this. Let's count our sets of tens now. One, two, three, four. Four sets of 10 and what's left over here after I regrouped was three. 43, let's see if we represent it over here as well. Two plus the one set of 10 that I regrouped, three and one more set of 10, 43. Okay, good job. Okay, so I'm gonna give you uh, two more problems that I'm gonna have you complete on your own as your practice for today's lesson. The first problem you're gonna complete on your own is 64 plus eight. So you'll wanna build it and also write your numbers. The next problem, 45 plus 17. Well, that's math class for today. We will continue to add with regrouping uh, tomorrow's lesson. I'll see you later. Bye.